Hi everyone, uh, so I'm just going to show the behind the scenes of an edit um, of a portrait shoot I done in January. Um, I've just brought it into Camera Raw, I haven't really done anything here. Change the profile to Modern 9, uh, there's a few great profiles under the browse section. We're just doing this. We've sh lit this with a ring light, so I've had to work the temperatures out uh, just a little bit to bring it down a little bit cool. And I'd add in a little bit of magenta just to take out the greens, um, just ever so slightly. And then just adjusting the exposure, a wee bit of contrast, and bringing the highlights down here. So we're going to bring that into Photoshop. So in here, I would normally go around and be editing the hair. So using the... The healing brush sorry um i would do her is one of the things that i sort of can find can be a bit messy for me just for eye distractions so i normally go around and just try and soften that as much as possible um you can just see here so with me with these hers have highlights you can just sort of more distracting than just um you know like here, there's a, it's a wee bit darker, it sort of fits in. But these wee bright ones, definitely on the grey background, um, I think can be a wee bit distracting. So I try and soften that. I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible too. But just pulling that out. Um, we can do this. The other thing that I normally do is duplicate a layer so I'll do that now because it actually lets us see the before and the after quite easily should have done that first um, so just watching that this doesn't go too weird um, sometimes I also if it works doesn't always work is use the stamp tool just bringing the opacity down just using the keyboard to get the 50 sometimes it can just as you can see soften that ever so slightly okay so you just have to be careful that there's no gradient appearing behind that I can just see it a little bit so pull them back just going from here you can just see the difference just in and around here everything else looks good so just can sort of in Doing a wee bit of a skin, a skin clean up. Again, taking away slight distractions. Um, just bringing the skin back to the front. And then just an air so slight. Just take a little bit of that skin that her to, to free the skin up see that the lights coming through here which is fine so there's some of this is just natural hair uh, I think we used a hair dryer sort of get this movement uh, the hair team loved all this randomness so again it's just trying to keep it looking natural as possible so here again I just these wee distractions her can spend he's spent a lot of time on her to me it's just softening it a little bit so I, I want to obviously bring your attention to here so that's not too bad there is this one here it's quite a big distraction the healing tool has done a fairly good job there taking that out so this is pretty straightforward for a portrait I use portraiture to clean the skin up a little bit more. This is the latest version. There we go. Uh, you just hit a wee skin. You can see the mask here. I'll show you where it appears. Hit OK. That cleans up. I don't like it to be too too heavy, but that looks actually quite good. So just that's a wee quick edit on, on that one there. 
There's a wee bit more we could do in the hair, but just to show that's that's something simple that you can do just to get that cleaned up. So we go back to here, you can see the difference just around the hair that a wee edit like that has done. So there is the first of a few edits that I'm going to be sharing. So hopefully you've learnt a wee bit from that.